Hey guys, coming at you today with the second best soft and scoopable keto ice cream recipe with no ice cream maker required. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. My name is Alicia and I'm a sous chef with a sweet tooth and here we make delicious desserts, many from my time as a pastry chef, and my goal is to make the best keto desserts possible. So if you enjoy these recipes, please consider hitting the subscribe button, the thumbs up, leaving me a comment. It all helps my channel grow and to bring you new keto desserts every Saturday. Today, a simple and easy no churn ice cream recipe. And not like those mason jar ice creams that are hard as a rock. This one is soft and scoopable, just like my churned version of keto ice cream. So I've seen it over the years on the internet, all over the place, a sweetened condensed milk, no churn ice cream recipe. And I was wondering if it was any good to begin with. So I decided to try and make it keto with the recent sweetened condensed milk recipe I just figured out using allulose. This stuff is delicious, smooth and creamy and thick and sweet. And I can't wait for all the other recipes I'm gonna be able to make with this. If you haven't seen it, the last one was my key lime pies. They turned out awesome. And this recipe is pretty darn delicious. It is not as low carb as my original churned vanilla ice cream recipe because I can't use any kind of milk substitute in place of heavy cream. So this recipe is completely just all heavy whipping cream. So it's pretty delicious. And what it reminds me of is the ice cream and ice cream sandwiches. But because our allulose caramelizes, you can see it's like a caramel color. It's pretty much like a little soft caramel ice cream. So that's what we're gonna be making here with this delicious sweet and dense milk. And it's super easy. Like I'm not even, I can't even find words because it literally takes two seconds to put together. I already made my sweet and condensed milk. Here's some footage from last night when I got home from work cooking in my PJs. I literally just put two cups of heavy cream on medium heat and put in three quarters of a cup of allulose and I stirred it until it was all dissolved and it was starting to simmer. And then I turned it down as low as I could on that butane burner and I stirred it pretty frequently. I didn't want any like caramel bits on the bottom, which it does happen if you let the allulose sit too long on the bottom of the pan and it's not incorporated. I just stirred it for about 20 minutes and it turned like a deep caramel color. And as soon as it was about two cups of liquid, I strained it into a measuring cup to see if I was at two cups. And once I was, I added my cold butter, which helps to cool it down faster and a little bit of vanilla extract. And then I just popped it into the refrigerator and I tried stirring it every like 10 minutes or so, but I had to get to bed. So I couldn't keep stirring it, but it was fine in the fridge overnight. And then I pulled it out this morning, get it a little bit more room temperature and to melt some of the hunks of butter that had, you know, solidified in there that I didn't get mixed in all the way. I'm still keeping this in the fridge if I don't use it all, which today I'm only going to use half of it. I'm doing a half a recipe. This is easily doubled though. So I gotta get myself some heavy cream out of the refrigerator. You want your whipped cream nice and cold before you whip it. So I'm actually just gonna weigh out my milk. I did that the first time, milliliters. It was 300 milliliters of heavy whipping cream. 300. And I looked up like original recipes for sweet and dense milk ice cream. And the only thing that we're not doing is to their sweet and condensed milk, they added salt and vanilla. But because I use salted butter in my sweet and condensed milk and I put vanilla extract in it already, that's all done for you. Now on the first recipe, I put a little bit of powdered monk fruit into my whipped cream, but I don't think it really needs it. It's actually sweet enough with just adding the sweet and condensed milk to it. So I'm just gonna whip this to stiff peaks. Okay, we're at stiff peaks. Super fast and easy recipe after you get that sweet and condensed milk. 
I literally am going to be having this in my refrigerator as a staple now. I mean, it's not that hard to make and I made a big batch in 20 minutes. Now I'm going to use my scale again. This was a cup and a quarter of heavy cream and we're going to use about a cup of sweet and condensed milk. I'm just going to weigh it out just so I don't have to get any more measuring cups out. So we're going to take half of our heavy whipping cream that is at Stiff Peaks plop it in the bowl, zero out our scale here. And a cup is about 250 milliliters. There we go. Mm -hmm. Just gonna fold the sweet and condensed milk into this half a whipped cream. Like I said, it reminds me of the ice cream and ice cream sandwiches. We had some at work and I actually took a peek at the ingredients. I haven't had an ice cream sandwich in I don't know how long, but they looked so good and my coworkers were eating them. I really wanted one and I looked at the ingredients and it's just, it's scary really what we have in our ice cream treats. We ate all the time as kids. You don't have to be too careful with the first batch because you're adding in the second one to add even more air to it. It's all nice and combined. Now the rest of our whipped cream. So feel free to add some like liquid vanilla stevia to this if you want. You can play around with this. You can also add any add-ins you want. Crushed up cookies. But this is something I wouldn't eat just a bowl of this because it literally is just frozen whipped cream pretty much with the added sweet and condensed milk which is made with heavy cream but to top warm brownie or a warm cookie be amazing. Again, all the recipes online also tell you to put into a, basically a bread pan, but if you layer it real shallow in like a shallow dish, it freezes faster. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I got my glass eight by eight in the freezer chilling, put this into. Basically just mix it until there's no streaks of white left in it. So, there you go. I don't see any more streaks. So time to grab our dish out of the freezer. Pretty much I'd say the hardest part of this recipe is waiting for it to freeze solid. <laughs> but it shouldn't take long if you put it in a kind of dish like this. For a bread pan, the recipe said about three hours, but I think an hour if you do it this thin, it'll be good to go. We get it all in there. It's all counting in the macros. <laughs> so this makes about four cups of ice cream. This is not a low calorie ice cream either because my original one that has the half a cup of unsweetened nut milk in it, it cuts the calories down a little bit and the fat. But with all this whipped cream, fortunately it's pretty high in calories and the total carbs because you're using a cup of heavy cream for the sweet and dense milk and then two cup or a cup and a quarter for, hi kitty, for the whipped cream. That's 12, 13 or 14 carbs. A cup of heavy cream is six grams in net carbs. It's still not bad. You eat a cup of this, again, math on camera. Call it 12 net carbs. For a quarter of this, it would be three grams of net carbs, which isn't horrible. But again, it's pretty much just whipped cream. So the fat and calories are a little bit high. So definitely be mindful of that. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer and I'll be back to scoop some in about an hour. Super simple, right? And I have, I have two cups of this. I still have my first cup batch. It is so good. Mm. It's like caramely sweet and condensed milk. Can't wait to do a bunch more recipes. See you back here in a bit. Okay, my ice cream has been chilling for an hour. Let's see how frozen it is. So it's been another crazy week. So pretty much all my bowls are still dirty, but I just want a little bit anyways. So I'm gonna use this little guy and we're gonna take a scoop of this ice cream. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So one hour, you should have it covered in the freezer. My lid doesn't fit and able to put it into the freezer with the lid on. So I'm gonna have to wrap it in some plastic wrap. It's time to try this guy. It's so light and fluffy and airy. Mm. 
just like eating some frozen sweetened whipped cream, but not all icy and gross like those mason jar ice creams. Mm. So delicious. And it tastes a little caramely from that allulose sweet condensed milk. This one is definitely less sweet than my last one. Like I said, I put two tablespoons of powdered monk fruit in my whipped cream. So this isn't as sweet. So if you want it a little bit sweeter, definitely add some powdered monk fruit to it. But this on top of my, one of my brownies, I'll link that recipe up there. I keep them in the freezer and I pop them into the microwave at 50% power for 30 seconds. Top with a little scoop of this. Amazing. So I hope that all those people that don't have an ice cream maker are gonna be able to enjoy this delicious vanilla no churn ice cream recipe. It is so good. Hope you guys enjoy this simple keto no churn vanilla ice cream recipe. If you do, let me know in the comments below if you try it and how you like it. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of different recipes using this, because I think it's delicious on its own, but jazzed up. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to experiment with a bunch of different frozen keto treats that I can make with this. If you enjoy this content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out my Amazon links and blog link to the full recipe in the description box below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll be back with many more keto dessert recipes. Bye guys.